Hello guys, this is AOG Gaming here, back with another episode of this series. It's not just another video, because uh, this is specifically going to be another set of the uh, videos that I'm going to release. And it's about a uh, synergy between two characters. And what I'm going to start with first is Marceline and PB. Specifically, we're searching for the Trinket Synergy that makes both of them the strongest or activates a certain ability on a Trinket. Um, but I think I'm going to do that. Mm. Should I just do Trinket Synergy? Yeah, it's so... I believe that's what we're going to do. So that's Trinket Synergy. It's not going to be the strongest build, but it's going to be, you know, using everything. So, first for Hunter Marceline, we have the Maze Stake. Two damage to Zombie and Regal Balloons. If a dark weapon is equipped, um, she unlocks her Hungry Upgrade Stakes. It's a good upgrade. It's not worth the money, but it's a good upgrade. <laughs> Equipped character gains an additional laser attack. Grants an extra 20 attack speed. Equipped to Marceline. An extra 3 damage if PB is nearby with Gem of the Gemstone equipped. So I believe this also works with uh, Warrior Princess Bubblegum. But, uh... I'm like 99% sure. <laughs> then I gave her speed and plus one damage because it's really good for her um, homing projectiles. Then we have treasure chest keys just to get, um, you know, wish orbs. <laughs> Maybe. Very, very small. And they're also always like common or uncommon. Five damage to mob class balloons because. She has okay mob damage, but it's not very good. And then just because I'm using... Oh no, I'm not using ice cream anymore. Yeah, so I'm going to unequip this one. Um, What was the item? I'm going to look for the one. I believe I have most of them equipped here already. No, this is the one, yeah. So this can only be equipped to the Marcelines. If you didn't see that and pause the video, it's 20% uh, speed. Increase flight speed by 20%. I don't know about the flight speed. I don't know how... Like, it's better for... um. What's her name? Hunter Marceline? No, no, sorry. The regular Marceline. Because she traces the balloons on the path. So she can actually follow the quick balloons like the pink balloons. And uh, DDTs and all that stuff. So, yeah, she's better with that. But Hunter Marceline, this character is eh. Um, it just, I guess it builds up. I, I don't know, maybe if there's like some glitch you can find if the speed lines up with um, her attack speed lines up with the like speed of the projectiles that are hitting the balloons and it ends up uh oh, what's the word i'm looking for it <laughs> it basically just hits the balloons at the right time so it stacks the the damage and dps and maximizes it but i don't know <laughs> it is what it is you'd probably have to do a uh, Full stats, but I'm not going to do that, so. <laughs> okay, so moving on. I also gave her her signature weapon, so it said stakes. It's pretty cool. I think this is the weapon she used when she went in, uh, against the zombies. <clears throat> she came to help when uh, Finn and Princess Bubblegum were attacked in the Candy Kingdom with uh, all the zombies that came through. If you watch Cartoon Network Adventure Time. That was pretty cool. And uh, I think I'm going to move on because that's 
pretty long for just one character. There's no gameplay, if you guys are wondering. So you guys can leave if you want to. But you guys can stay if you want to learn the synergy. Marceline, uh, 20... What is it? 6? Yeah. But she goes to level 9, so I don't know with, uh, Jake. So, I don't know if the increase in instruments is related to anything because when you buy a I have to show you now because <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called it's like at the tip of my I can picture it in my mind but I can't remember what it's called full orchestra this, this like right here increases the power of all musical instruments in range um, and basically they get Increased damage, I believe. Sorry, I was looking something up. <laughs> so, Hunter Marceline is in our party. We're going back to Marceline. 26% speed. So she has base stats, so we're only going to do how much the trinkets add to her base stats. Because some of the base the stats, maybe the base stats are just left in the, uh, what was it? No, the stats were left in the, okay, sorry, I was just done looking that up. Damage 2 plus 4 stars. So it's uh, only. Well, I guess that's a maximizing it out. Yeah. Okay. So so we, we. I finished the stat. So it maxes it out. So it's 8. I believe. She gets the stats of 8 because that's a max out. That's a maxed out the uh, damage for the Devil Monster base. If you get full orchestra upgrade on. Uh, Tuxedo Jake. And it also turns uh, Jake into a level 9 because I've also have him on level 6. And the Pierce is uh, on Hunter, M I'm sorry, on regular Marceline is 5 plus 1 plus 2 stars. She is level 6, but she turns to level 9, so I believe that also. That's buffed. If it doesn't, you guys can tell me, but 5 plus 1. I might have to look it up, but I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> so 5 plus 1 per 2 stars. And uh, searching here for the stats again. Four, so she gets plus four, so that's nine pierce plus her base stats. I have to look up the base stats and do that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And then 26 speed, of course, and did the damage already. Oh yeah, and then she gets plus four damage from there. So actually, not that item. Weapon is really good. One of the best epic weapons in the game for support and also for attack. The damage is okay for the support, but it, it, if it was better, it's good. But there's not a lot of items that just give damage, so. There's a lot of items that support. Tuxedo Jake is really good. There's other ones that increase their pierce or their blast or radius. I think there's some, only a few. Pierce is 5 plus 2 stars. Sorry, that's not what we're looking at. Let's get back on topic. Um, so what do we say the damage was? I can write it down. Um, so 9 to 4 damage. So 8 damage. So now she's doing 8 damage. Oh my goodness. 
<clears throat> and with Carl the gem, she gains the laser, of course, so she, as she's attacking. It's also ranged. I like the laser starts attacking before she reaches it. Yeah, I don't know the speed of the laser. I'm looking it up, but I don't see it. Um, she gains 20% attack speed, so 46% attack speed now. Marceline gains extra 3 damage if PB is nearby with Gem of the Gemstone equipped. So that's going to be in part 2 of this episode. And then we have Google Mama Meter. All balloons take 3 damage from all sources while within range of equipped character. Plus 3 damage. Then plus 3 damage <laughs> to all their other characters. Um, there's 4 I think. I have 4 of them equipped. So I don't know if I'm going to maximize it that way though. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just equip it to all the PBs. Um, Warple Hand, equip character melee attacks, can pop lead. Do 5 damage to ceramics and fortify balloons. Shreds, I've already talked a lot about that one. Prevents all negative effects. I'm gonna swap that one out. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna put the apple. It took me a while to find it. <laughs> I believe it's this one. The Empire's Love, yeah, so I believe this can only be equipped with Hunter Marsling. So we do info. Yeah, we'll just equip it to Marsling. So she has range. I don't know if that works with her melee attacks, but I hope it does. Maybe it's just their base tower, the little base. And then we have all the best characters we can equip to your hunt and every deer. I don't have this for Hunter Marceline, so I didn't need, I didn't review that. Maha. I've been sharding all my extra characters because I would want to get collect every single item in the game first. So Maja is really good. She's okay for super rare. She can carry you pretty far in the beginning for some of the Martian games. Vampire King. He's really good. Especially if we can get multiple of him. Um, I think there's more like items that can only be equipped to hunt or Marceline. Or Marceline, but we'll review that later. But yeah, that's the synergy between both of them, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna do the PVs next. I'm pretty sure we don't have time to review that real quick, cause it's gonna be all about like character synergy, specifically what's good with their upgrades. Hunter Marceline with their soul suck. She just does it a lot. She's just attacking faster, and it does more damage too. Not the soul suck, but her stakes. And then Marceline is just overall a really good character that deals with all Moabs. She destroys ceramics. And she like deletes all the other balloons before that. But she is a little pricey. 1,200. Even with all the 
I don't know if I'd get any discounts if you guys have a higher price for her, but I believe it's 120 for me with all the items I've equipped. I've explained it throughout the series. But yeah, and then Hunter Marceline. Amazing. I did give her Moab damage, that's why. If I... The, that uh, blueprint is a really good super rare. Especially for beginners, or like, if your uh, character isn't all the way upgraded. Mine's only level 6, my Hunter Marceline, but my uh, Marceline is just like level 9 when I use the uh, full orchestra upgrade on Tuxedo Jake, which I also explain when I do some gameplay, and I've also explained throughout the series. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.